kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Snow sculptures. One day, Painter Cat was holding a competition for the best snow sculpture. The winner of the competition will receive an entire box of yummy cookies. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at the camera, everyone. Smile, say mice. Mice! Here are your shovels. Now, imagine the snow is your clay. Just find your inspiration and scout away. Begin! <sighs> I'm gonna make a big snow cat. I'm gonna make an even better snow cat. So am I. Boris decided to make a snow cat too. And so did Dart and Cupcake. Um, I think the arms are usually made from sticks. And for buttons and eyes, you can use nuts. I didn't bring nuts. Dart, can I have some? And me, please. The nose can be made from a pine cone, like this. Whoa! All right, let's take a look at these sculptures and see who's going to win these yummy cookies. Me, 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 me. Well, first we have to figure out which is the best sculpture. <laughs> but when Painter Cat saw the row of look-alike snow cats, he had no idea how to choose the best one. Meow. This is a bit tricky. My snow cat might be the whitest of them all. But they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all the same color. Let's see if we can find any other differences. <gasps> but just then, another heavy snow shower began, covering snow cats and kitty cats alike in a squishy white blanket. Mm. Whoa! There's snow all over everything, see? Hey, that hurt. Sorry, I really thought you were my snow cat. <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're still going to have a sculpture contest, you kittens need to dig out your snow cats. Hmm. But digging snow cats out of the snow is hard. Hey, where's my snow sculpture? It was right here. My snow cat's in good shape. No, it's not. This is all that's left of mine. Oh no, they're all ruined. <laughs> we should make our sculptures back at home, guys. That way the snow won't cover them up. But Cookie, at home they melt in no time. Then we should make them out of something else, like metal. Metal doesn't melt. Sure we could, but then they wouldn't be snow sculptures uh, anymore. They'd be like uh, robot things. Well then... Uh... I don't know. But I think I'm really hungry. Hey, something just occurred to me. Pudding, look. Your sculpture looks like a cake now, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it does. All you need is a little rose on top. Awesome! awesome. I'm going to shape my snow into a beautiful crown for a princess. I'm making a snow rocket ship. <laughs> I'll make a snow clown. Now every kitty cat was making their own special sculpture. Candy made Daddy, Mommy, Cookie, Pudding, and herself. Well, now the sculptures are so different and wonderful, it's even harder for me to pick the best one. Aww. But I do believe I have got the answer. Everyone deserves their own box of cookies for their awesome sculpture. Hooray! We won! I'm so proud of all my cookie winners. That's one of my recipes, by the way, everyone. Oh, I think that it's time for the local news to start. A snow sculpture contest was held today. Cookie, Candy, Pudding, Boris, Dart, and Cupcake were the winners. What a talented bunch of kittens. We're on TV! We're famous now! Everyone loved our sculptures! Turns out Daddy had the great idea to take his competition video to the news station. So How wonderful that the kitty cats could share their sculptures with the whole town and their prize cookies with the whole family. Kittens go diving. One day, Daddy took the kitty cats to visit their grandpa, who worked and lived in a lighthouse. Hey there, my kittens. Hi, Hi Grandpa. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, my boy. You can just head off to the factory, and we're going to have a fun time. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. 
<laughs> Ocean's very calm today, which is great because we'll all be able to go swimming underwater. What is Grandpa talking about, going underwater? How's that gonna work? I don't see a submarine around. Hey, hey! So, are you ready? It's scuba diving time! Wait, it's what time? Diving time! We're going scuba diving underwater! <gasps> but how will we breathe, Grandpa? You're going to have special containers with air in them! How are we going to see underwater, Grandpa? With special underwater masks. But won't moving be hard? Nope. You'll have flippers for that. Along with these swanky special rubber outfits. Scuba diving takes a lot of stuff. Why swim underwater at all? It's awfully wet down there. We're looking for a beautiful, precious, special seashell over near that rock. Last huh? one in's a rotten hairball. Come on! <gasps> Kittens, I'm waiting. Let's go! <sighs> Under the water, the kittens felt like they were light as a feather. <laughs> A sea monster bit my tail. <laughs> Pudding, it's only a little crab. It's no big deal. Come back in. Nah, I think I've had enough of diving, Grandpa. Know what, Pudding? You're right. I'm with you. If I'm underwater, I'll never get a tan. Well, fine then. I'll just find that beautiful groovy shell all by myself. <laughs> Later, the kittens were using Grandpa's binoculars to look all around. Wow, look at the mountains there, with all those little birds. Hey, let me see. And me! Paws off! Get Give em. Em. I'm not done! <gasps> oh. oh no! Grandpa's gonna be furious! <laughs> I have a really good idea! We could go scuba diving for them. <laughs> that is a great idea. Jump in. Grandpa kept an eye on the kitty cats, pleased as punch that they were realizing how awesome diving could be. You like diving after all? It's great. Look what we found. I found some really awesome treasure. And I found this pretty shell. Oh, that is exactly the kind of shell that I was hoping to find. I should be taking scuba diving lessons from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa, why were you looking for a seashell like that? What does it do? Why, this shell has the sound of the whole ocean inside it. So beautiful. Mm. There, put it to your ear. Scuba diving is not a simple thing to do, but the kitty cats learned that if you stick with it, you can find some truly wonderful things. Writing stories. One day, Candy, Cookie, and Pudding wanted their daddy to read them a book. I want a lovely princess book. But one with lots of pirates. Also with lots of mushrooms. Right, that's one princess <gasps> book, one about <sighs> pirates, ha! and an encyclopedia of ha! mushrooms. I don't want to hear another book about a princess. I mean, not really. Well, I don't want to hear another book about pirates. But the mushroom book's good, right? Oh, oh no, not, not that, that again. again. You guys need to get together and write a book of your own that has a princess, pirate, and uh, mushrooms. We're going to be real writers. So, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We'll come up with a story, guys. And Daddy will write it up for uh, us. Hey. Oh. But it turned out writing books isn't easy. Well, why aren't we writing? Hey, uh, 
Meh. Ha! Ah, got it! Huh? Uh, nah. It seems like we're not coming up with anything. You need inspiration to write a really good book. Inspiration? Well, inspiration is when you haven't got any ideas, then one just pops in your head. Oh! I've got an idea. Deep in the woods. I've got one. We I start think in the we've moon, and there's a really space out there. But he's the mushroom bat thingy. And he's got a ghost monkey. Pair. Stop. And... That won't work at all. Only one of you needs to start. Then let someone else take over. Daddy's right, guys. I'll start then. Deep in the woods, there stood a beautiful mushroom. Right? Not right. A castle. The home of a clever princess. She sat in her tower and looked around. Princess sat and looked around. <laughs> Pretty good opening. My turn. Then suddenly the castle was attacked by mushrooms. <laughs> Not mushrooms, pudding. Pirates. Ah. Uh, okay then. Yo ho! The pirates picked up the castle and took it with them on their ship. And then the princess looked out of her window and saw a giant... Mushroom! Uh, ocean shroom, yeah! Come on, why would there be an ocean shroom? You guys got your princesses and pirates, so why can't I have mushrooms? <laughs> All right, what am I putting then? So what's my family doing? Ha! Huh, your kitties have decided to become riders. We're looking for something cool and awesome to attack our pirate ship. We need something really good. Ha! Huh, sounds fun. Could you open this? You could use some sort of giant... Oh, a mushroom maybe. <laughs> Mom, that's exactly what I said. Huge mushroom wants to sink the ship. <laughs> Left turn, matey. Now right turn, matey. Left turn. Right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Beware! <laughs> Here comes the giant mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates prepare to repel the giganto shroom. Oh. Mm. But the mushroom had a giant metal helmet, <laughs> right? <laughs> Gigantish room by boiling it, like in soup, right? Because boiled mushrooms couldn't hurt a ship at all. Then the pirates defeated the terrible mushroom. And then made friends with the clever princess. And they went on to have awesome adventures together on the sea. The end! A mushroom princess pirate tale. <laughs> it's such a good story. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I can almost smell the mushroom boiling. That's mushroom soup that you smell. My little writers, it's lunchtime. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And after their yummy lunch, Daddy printed out a copy of The Princess, the Pirate, and the Giant Mushroom of the Sea, written by the Kitty Cats. Making up adventures. One day, the kitty cats were staying at Grandpa's lighthouse and just couldn't think of anything to do. Hey, I see unhappy kitties on the horizon. Why so gloomy, young ones? We forgot to bring any of our toys with us. I didn't bring any books either. And now we're just really bored. Ha <laughs> ha! Then it's the right time to tell you all about my amazing hot air balloon adventure. It'll blow away your boredom. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Come on, I'll show you all the faraway countries I visited and what I saw in them. Yes, I visited South America here, Iceland here, Africa here, China, Indonesia, Botswana, Tunisia, and even the North Pole up here. Um, aren't you guys interested? No, uh, yes. We're sorry. But it's nothing but a long list of names. It's not much fun to watch you tap a map with a stick. Uh, all right. Then I'll tell you about my trip using books that have pictures. For starters, right here in the South America book, you can see the world's biggest waterfall I saw well, there. Well, it doesn't look that big in the picture, Grandpa. 
And I passed over an active volcano once in Iceland. The bubbling lava and smoke was just I wild. don't see bubbling <laughs> lava at all. Well, there isn't any because it wasn't active when this photo was taken. Come on. A little black and white picture? You're saying exciting stuff, but it doesn't look exciting. Yeah. I'd love to be able to see this cool stuff for myself in real life. I have a really good idea. What we really need is to actually go on this trip. Totally. When do we leave? In a uh, balloon. It'll be great. I would love to do that, kittens, but the lighthouse has to be tended by its keeper all the time. <gasps> But hey, you could still have a balloon adventure. You just need to use imagination. Imagination? Grandpa got the kitten's hot air balloon ready. Go on, in the basket. Mm -hmm. And now just shut your little eyes. And imagine that you're in a hot air balloon high up in the sky. Whoa! Oh, what is this? It's a friendly crow. Caw, 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 caw. <laughs> and now the wind is picking up. <laughs> it's like flying in a hurricane. <laughs> and now weather's getting a bit stormy. Rain's starting to fall. <laughs> this rainstorm won't be stopping us. We're brave balloon adventurers on a mission. <laughs> now take your imaginations and go, go, go! <sighs> your imagination can take you anywhere. Flying past a waterfall high up in the air. Over a volcano, what a thing to see. If there's any place you'd like to be. Imagine it, imagine it. Imagination's infinite. The fun and thrills will never quit. Imagine it, imagine it. <laughs> was an awesome balloon adventure! Yeah! Can we take our balloon someplace else right away? Well, of course you can! But for the moment, it's lunchtime. Aren't these sandwiches kind of boring? Well, yeah, I guess they are. I think this sounds like a job for imagination! Let's all pretend that these are really cosmic moon sandwiches! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Um, um. <laughs> the kitty cats found that their imaginations could take them anywhere, even all the way up to the moon. A trip to the store. Mommy and Daddy were doing all their shopping, and they brought the kitty cats along. Spaghetti noodles. Bananas. And fresh fish. I think we might need a second shopping cart. How much longer? I want to go home and play. And I'm really hungry. Wait, looks like we forgot the milk, bread, and tea. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Now we have to pick it all up. While you pick it up, we could get the bread, milk, and tea. Good idea. That way it'll be faster. Well, I think we can trust you with this big, important grown-up job. Right Daddy and I will be waiting for you outside. Mommy gave them her wallet so they'd be able to pay. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, you go and pick up the bread, and Pudding, you get the milk, and I'll find some tea. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> but the bread wasn't nearly as interesting as the toys, and who cares about milk when there's candy? And speaking of candy, Candy remembered that she had a very important job to do. But it looked like Cookie might have forgotten that. And Pudding, too. Where's the milk and bread? We have Mommy's wallet. There's enough money in it to buy anything. Milk and bread are kind of boring, but candy's awesome. Pudding, but then what will we drink if we don't have milk? Cups of candy? <laughs> Without any bread, then what's mommy going to make sandwiches out of? 
love. Out of a toy bus? Oh! <sighs> oh, all, oh right. all right. The kitty cats went to buy bread, but it turned out there were lots of different kinds. Let's just grab this one and go. But that's a cheesecake tart cookie. We're just looking for regular bread. Uh, how's this one? I'm pretty sure it needs to be brown. This one, then? That one's round, but the sandwiches that we eat are always square. Look, this one's square and brown as well. All right, that just leaves milk. It turned out milk came in different kinds, too. Strawberry. That isn't right. Chocolate, yum. Nope, still wrong. Well, is this it? That's yogurt, not milk. Uh, it looks like this is just normal milk. Then that's the one we want. Chase's mom was a cashier at the market. Cookie, candy, and pudding, too. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at you three big kitties, grocery shopping all by yourselves. We're in the middle of a big, important grown-up job. Oh, those skates are really pretty. I can wear them at the ice rink. Cool. You guys, we gotta get some skates. But you haven't got enough money to buy everything. It's either the skates or the groceries. Well, well then, we'll, we'll take, take the, the skates. skates. Hang on, listen. If we really do this, we'll have skate soup for lunch today. Ready, everyone? Bon appetit. Oh. Ice skate soup doesn't sound very yummy. And I'll bet ice skate sandwiches are even worse. We'd like to use the money to pay for our groceries. That's why we're here. Mommy, Mommy Daddy, Daddy, hey! hey! We got everything. Well done, my little dears. You did your big grown-up job very well. Are you ready for a nice surprise? <laughs> ice rink tickets all around. Mommy and I bought them while you three did the grocery shopping. The ice rink? Awesome! That's what we wanted! But we don't have any ice skates, boys. That's all right. We can just rent skates for you there. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats did great at their big important grown-up job, but having a wonderful time with the whole family was the most important job of all. The feathery thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope, you didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take, take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? 
For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Whoa! Who let that bird fly away with my car keys? <laughs> Great, how am I ever gonna get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. Ah. Whistle. Ah. My keys and spoon, yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. One winter's morning, the kitty cats looked out the window at the melting snow. The snow is almost melted and the holidays are coming. Will Santa Claus still come when there's no snow anywhere? Well, I'm sure the Frost Fairy will make more. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairies have a lot to take care of preparing for the holidays. We should invite them to our house then, so they can both get all rested up and then make more snow and presents. Awesome! We're going to invite Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy to come. Oh, that's very sweet, my little darlings. Daddy and I will be very happy to invite them. <clears throat> right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll call them right now. Hmm. Meow. Meow. Santa Claus uh, is oh. Bruno. We're sorry everyone is busy making gifts and snow right now. Please call again later. Happy holiday hugs to you and yours. Uh, I got their machine, but it sounds like they're very busy indeed. Come on, tell Santa coming over? Well, uh, uh... Yes, they're coming soon. Both of them, tonight. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If we can't get a hold of them, then we'll just have to become the Frost Fairy and Santa Claus. That's a great idea, my darling. We'll be needing costumes then. Oh! oh. But the store was almost out of costumes. I'm worried this costume might be a little bit small. And that one looks like it's way too big for me. This could be a problem. The kitty cats were very excited to greet Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. Hooray! Ho, 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 ho. Meow there, little kittens. The Frost Fairy is so much bigger in real life. Well, I have to admit that I do love holiday feasts. Oh, just like our daddy does. <laughs> hey, you laugh like our daddy as well. Well, up in the North Pole where we come from, everybody laughs just like that. <laughs> Why don't we have a lovely cup of tea? Now, please be careful, it's hot. Uh -huh. Why did Santa Claus's voice sound just like our mommy's? Oh, that's because Santa Claus really likes cold drinks, not hot. Hot drinks make his voice sound high. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's all do a bring on the snow dance. What do you say, everyone? Snow dance, yeah! And then it will start snowing again. <laughs> it looks like they didn't recognize us, darling. You look really great with this braid. Maybe you should grow one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa Claus, you're dancing around like you've got a lot of energy there. It looks like you've probably had enough rest now. Does that mean that you'll be able to make it start snowing more outside again? Um, snowing? Oh, whoa! Yeah, get off me, beard. Hmm. Hey, that's really our daddy. Yeah, and that's really our mommy. I knew it was really you guys all the time. What did you dress up as Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy for? Uh, the real Frost Fairy and Santa Claus were too busy to come over this evening. I think you guys are the coolest Santa Claus and best Frost Fairy ever. <laughs> Everybody, look! It's starting to snow! Looks like this is what Santa and the Frost Fairy were so busy with tonight. Making fresh snow for everyone! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kitties! By the way, Santa Mommy and Daddy Frost Fairy might have something in the sack for you to open! Daddy and Mommy Christmas had brought little gifts for the kittens which they all enjoyed whilst the snow fell outside, making a kitty cat winter wonderland. The harvest! One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! Bye-bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye -bye, kitties! Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted. Apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers. And all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we could skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we, um, just, uh, wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All clean. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kitten made rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. Thank you. 
Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm, mm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. Um, it's all because mm, of your hard work. Mm, Thank you. You're the mm, world's best mm, brand kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. <sighs> well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back any time and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Mail! One lovely morning, friendly Mr. Mail Cat was delivering packages and letters in his mail truck. But something went a little bit wrong. Hey! Wait! Oh, no! Looks like somebody won't be getting their packages at all. I bet they really wanted them, too. Hey, why don't the three of us deliver them? I always thought being a mail cat would be awesome, and here's our chance! We're, We're mail cats! cats. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But the water had smudged the addresses on the packages. How would the kitty cats know who to deliver them to? I've got a great idea! We can guess who the packages are for by studying what the boxes look like. This one is a pretty box, all tied up with a nice ribbon and bow. Now, who likes pretty things? Cupcake, Cupcake does. does. My goodness, it's beautiful. And this one looks like it has a nice warm sweater inside. So it must be for Boris. He's always catching colds. I think there's a black umbrella in this one. And who do we know that loves the color black? Why, Smudge, of course. Oh. But who is this last package for? Maybe it's gears and bolts for Dart. Or maybe some space gadget for Chase? Let's put the mystery box aside for now. Let's deliver the other ones, all right? The kitty cats delivered Smudge's package first, but it wasn't an umbrella after all. It was a tablet, and it was very, very not black. Oh, it's pink. Yuck! Their next stop was Boris's house to deliver the nice warm sweater. Oh no, this isn't the hat I wanted at all. I wanted the rainbow colored one with jingly bells. And Cupcake got the package with the pretty ribbon and bow. Uh, what is this? My head looks like a circus tent. Now we just have to figure out who the last package is supposed to go to. Hey, wait! I didn't order a silly-looking clown hat. I ordered a pink tablet. Then who do you think ordered the silly-looking hat? Well, someone who likes clowns, right? Oh, well, that would be Boris. That looks more like what I wanted. I look just like a real-life funny clown now, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'd never, ever see something that black on a clown. But you would see it on Smudge. Hooray! My sweater! Nice and gloomy. It really looks great on you, Smudge. This must be the pink tablet that Cupcake was expecting. It's just so pretty! The kitty cats had now delivered all the packages to their rightful owners, except for the mystery box. We should open it up and see what's inside. Then we can figure out just whose it is. I'm not supposed to open someone else's mail. Then how should we handle this? I'm tired of carrying it everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Mail Cat's return was a very welcome sight. Oh, candy, cookie, pudding. A few packages seem to have fallen out of my truck. I don't suppose you three have seen them. Oh, looks like that's one of them. We found your missing boxes, and we delivered them to their rightful owners ourselves. Oh, thanks very much. I was getting a little bit worried they were lost for good. But we couldn't figure out who was supposed to get this package. Well, if the label is blurry, we could check the number on the side. 
It's package number 125. And here's the address. Let's all deliver some mail! Yay! Well, we're here. Oh, but this is our house. Yep, it surely is. It's also where this package belongs. So you're telling us that we just delivered a package to ourselves? We're, we're mail cats! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The mystery box turned out to be a package of gifts from Grandma. How kind! The three kitty cats felt great that they helped deliver joy and happiness to their friends and themselves. Snowy slopes and snowboards. One snowy morning, the kitty cats couldn't wait to get outside and ride their sleds and play on their slide. Oh, good morning, darling kittens. Where are you headed this early? Out sledding and sliding. But it had snowed all night long, and the slide was completely covered. Um, where did our slide go? Well, let's just ride our sleds down the slope that the slide made. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> awesome time! <laughs> but their sled sank right down into the loose snow. This is much harder than sliding on our slide. Hey, I think I can see it under here. <laughs> Let's dig it out then, all right? It'll be easy. Let's do this. But digging out the slide turned out to be harder than they thought. <laughs> It'll be summer before we're done with this. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Will you dig the slide out from the snow with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. As soon as I finish watching this exciting snowboard show. And number three is shredding and speeding his way down the slope. What a run! Oh, wow! I want to snowboard on our slide! Eh, <sighs> a snowboard requires a much larger slope. Our slide just isn't big or safe enough. Well, at the moment, we haven't got a slide at all. Mommy! 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 Can you help us dig out our slide from under the snow? I'm sorry, my darlings. I'm late for the gym. If the snow is covering the slide, why don't you play, uh, something else? But the kitty cats didn't want to play something else. I heard that if you put salt on snow, the snow will totally melt. What if the salt melted the slide, too? Well, maybe we should just get a bulldozer. Our slide would be out of the snow in no time. I think a bulldozer would clear away more than just the snow. Hey, hey our, our slide! slide! Then we need to make a snowball that's truly, really huge. Then roll it down the slide to clean off the snow. What, what a, a great, great idea! idea. Now that is an impressive ball of snow. All that's left is for us to roll it down. And push, and push, and go. <laughs> Who's there? Hmm, that's strange. No one's here. Aww. Now the slide was covered in more snow than ever. Even a bulldozer couldn't dig our slide out of that enormous mountain. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Can I get a little help up here? Hey, that's Daddy's snowboard. It turned out Daddy's snowboard was perfect for riding on loose snow. <laughs> My class at the gym was canceled, but riding with you looks more fun. Excuse me. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! 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 Now this gigantic hill is perfect for snowboarding. <laughs> Just let that daddy cat show you how it's done. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
<laughs> Snowy slopes can be a mountain of fun, but they're even better when the whole family plays on them together. 